Perinatal therapy is a very common procedure performed in veterinary medicine today. Depending on the level of disease, it is a two to four step process. The four components of periodontal therapy are the complete dental prophylaxis, home care, periodontal surgery, and finally extraction. Note that all of these procedures must be performed under general anesthesia by a licensed veterinarian. Do not be fooled by those that will sell you anesthesia-free dentistry. This is a representation of your pet's teeth. This is the crown of the tooth, the area you can see, and then these are the roots. This represents plaque, and this brown, calculus, and the redness is gingivitis. The key to periodontal therapy is plaque control. Plaque, if it's removed, will then remove the gingivitis, allowing a return to a healthy tooth. If you bring me a patient that has only gingivitis and no disease, disease which is defined as periodontal pockets greater than three millimeters, all that is required is a cleaning and then home care. Plaque forms on teeth within 24 hours. Without home care, the return of plaque and therefore periodontal disease will happen very quickly. The problem is most veterinary patients have gone beyond just the simple plaque and calculus. Unfortunately, what has happened is the bacteria have gotten down underneath the gum line and created periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is inflammation to the deeper supporting structures of the teeth. And now we're seeing this inflammation down here along these teeth. What happens with that is the body, in an attempt to wall off that infection, will recede the bone. If your patient has pockets greater than three millimeters, then they must be treated by periodontal surgery. Now pockets between three and six millimeters can be effectively treated by closed root planing and placement of a long acting antibiotic. However, once you get pockets that are six millimeters plus, or the furcation, which is the area between the roots, becomes exposed. It is impossible to clean this area out without direct visualization of the tooth surface. That visualization is best accomplished by periodontal flap surgery. And that is where we make an incision in the gum, we lay the gum back so we can actually visualize this area, then we can come in and remove effectively the plaque that's deep down below the gum line plus or minus add some bone grafting material and then we suture it over and we should be able to get this to grow. Unfortunately, oftentimes this disease has progressed so far that the teeth are loose. If that is the case, then unfortunately the only way we can treat this is to extract the entire tooth. While radical, it is the one true cure for periodontal disease. As you can see, periodontal therapy is comprised of numerous different steps. Here at Southern California Veterinary Dental Specialties, we have options that can save periodontally diseased teeth. However, sometimes extraction is the best option.